She be my queen since we were sixteen. We want the same things, we dream the same dreams. All right, all right. I got it all. She is the one. Her mom calls me love her dad. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I know it's been so long. I am so sorry that it has been so long, but I am here, and we're gonna talk. That's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna give a little life update, a little body update, and yeah, I don't know, just chit chat. Anyways, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite part of this video is. Um, anyways, yeah, we're here. We're on day 39 of quarantine, and we're just trying to make things happen. And I know that a lot of this stuff isn't really, like, great and everything that's going on. I know that a lot of you guys aren't doing so well right now. There's a lot of people that are struggling with this whole quarantine thing. And I'm going to be here to try to give you a little smile on a little sunshine and just tell you what I know. And yeah, so I think the best thing to do during this quarantine is A, do whatever the hell you feel like doing because some people that are unemployed you're so used to working your butt off and then you go to not working and you're like freaking out because I mean you're getting unemployment and you're getting that $600 a week from the feds so it's not really like you're struggling but at the same time you're like struggling if you get what I'm saying anyways um just my biggest advice to you guys make lists act like you're getting ready for the day do your makeup put on clothes I don't know, do your morning routine. If you went for a jog every morning before work, do that still. Um, if you made a pot of coffee before work, do that still. If you read before work, do that still. Just try your best to like stay in that routine. Try to, I still wake up every single morning around 8 a.m. I don't have an alarm going off every morning at 8 a.m., but my internal clock knows to wake up at that time no matter what. And I still make my coffee and I sit on the couch and I read my book. Um, this place right here, this space, is brand new to me, and I'm still just adjusting to it. Um, I didn't move, but my roommate moved out, and I had to decide whether or not I wanted to get a roommate to fill this room or have this my office. And ultimately, I decided that, so I thought it would be more beneficial if I was alone, living alone, than if I brought a stranger into this home, because at this point in my life, all of the people that are close to me are pretty established in their living situations, so I don't know who I would bring in to live with me. So I would have to like go out and hunt. And I just like, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with doing that. I would just like rather live alone. And so I don't know, mentality, yes, less money to go out and buy alphalete stuff, meh, whatever. We're gonna make it work. Anyways, I know a lot of y'all are struggling. Um, me personally, I'm not, I'm like excelling. This has been a big wake up call for me. It's been really healthy for me to just like slow down and not overload my plate. I am a yes woman. I say yes to everything. I say I can do it. I never say no. I mean, I do say no, but I, I just overload. I say I can, I can, I can until I can't. And this was a forced stop. And it just like helped. Um, a lot of my weight has fallen off, uh, not in pounds, but in inches because of the stress. So a lot of my bloating is going away. A lot of my water weight's going away. Um, just, I feel like I was just holding on to so much stuff because of stress. And now that that's gone, we're good. Like I'm feeling good, I'm looking good. My coach is so proud of me. And she's in agreement that like, it's just stress. It was all just stress. And so now everything, like, I think you can even like see it in my face. Like, I don't know, my face seems thinner. I, I just like <sighs> reducing stress and just like getting back to me has been so good. And I've been able to do something that like, 
I've missed doing. But anyways, so this quarantine has allowed me enough downtime to freshen up on my research and read a lot more about the uh, um, saltwater aquarium. And it just so happened that my roommate wanted to upgrade her tank, so she gave me her smaller one. And I've loved it. I've loved being able to just like take the time and the days to just be able to read about this stuff. Where as before it was a burden and I couldn't do it. And now I have that that relaxation. And also I get to strum around on my guitar a lot more. And that's really exciting because school was getting like with work school was getting really overwhelming and just like so I did acquire a teaching assistantship halfway through the semester and so i've still been able to make an income doing that but it's only quarter time so it's only 12 hours a week which is not much time it's not much money at all two serving jobs ta ra and doing nine hours of a master's school nine hours of school for masters right? No, 10. It's a four hour and then two hour or a three hour and a three hour. Yeah. So 10 hours of graduate school, all graduate level classes. So a lot on my plate and this quarantine kind of just was like, you're done. It was like, you're done. But all of that to say, uh, yeah, I know that you just came here to, uh, see me do my little twirl around so we're gonna get to that and I'm sorry I haven't done a video in like three weeks and I took a little break but I'm back and so yeah now it is uh, now now it's time for me to do my spin around so I'm gonna take my shirt off and move this chair I'll be right back okay so ignore the, the dog hair but look at this look at my body isn't this great? This, this is what quarantine has done for me. This is what, this is what lack of stress has done for my body. And it's so crazy. I never thought that doing this, like just taking a break would just like make everything fall off. Now, I know I still have a long way to go. I mean, I'm not trying to get summer ready until June. So I still have a month and a half to go, but this is great. Like this is, this is awesome. And I'm not like concerned or worried about anything at this point because now the stress is gone. Every time I work out, it's just like, Phew. now like my weight is still not fluctuating very much which is good I'm in like the whole grand scheme of things because my inches are dropping so the fact that I'm maintaining weight means that I'm still holding on to all my muscle and building a little bit so really happy about all this um yeah I don't know what else to say uh thanks for watching thanks for coming don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and uh ring the little bell and hopefully I will start these up again and I'll see you in a week. I need to go play with her, get some energy out, and I'm gonna do a hit workout. So yeah, see you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.